Hey friends, I wanted to talk to you about eating clean while you travel. And I'm on a trip right now in a little motel room. And I've got all my food in front of me so that I can show you exactly how I prepare and what I do. Um, first of all, when I'm planning a trip, I check out where a market might be in adjacent to my hotel. Um, and you might think that's a lot of work, but people everywhere have to eat, right? So there's actually stores everywhere and you can find what you need. I've been able to do it on many, many trips over the last few years. Um, not as many in 2020 as I would have liked to have taken, but you know, there is that. But the first thing I do when I, after I check into a hotel room is I go to the store and I get my healthy food. Because one of the biggest secrets to eating clean is having the right food in front of you. Okay, so things that I buy, I buy my steel cut oats. I buy my berries. I uh, don't always, but now that I'm on a soy milk kick um, in my cereal, I bought my soy milk. Um, I usually get almond butter. They did not have almond butter at this market. Now that I know that, if I come back to this area, I'll bring it. Um, I probably could have hunted markets and found it, but I got peanut butter instead, and that's fine. I brought bananas and apples with me. Sorry, they're on my desk. Um, we, we drove on this trip, so I did bring a few things. Um, and I do always, even if I'm flying, I bring a container. This has my overnight oats in it. So I bring a container to make my overnight oats. Um, I bring plasticware. You can usually get it at your hotel or motel, but I always bring it just in case. And I bring a microwavable container for my breakfast. And then my breakfast is going to consist of the overnight oats that I warm up with some peanut butter. I don't have all my seeds and nuts with me. I do have nuts with me. I don't have my seeds with me for my breakfast, but I'm gonna miss those for a few days. That's not the end of the world. Um, so then after I warm it up, put in my blueberries, my um, raspberries, put some soy milk, stir it all up, have a nice, super healthy breakfast that's going to energize me, not weigh me down, and get me through to my next meal. And then another thing that I do, I buy veggies and hummus. And along with, as I said, I have apples, I have bananas, I'll eat apples with peanut butter. Um, I've got cashews and almonds. I keep very healthy things in the hotel room because it's very easy to just go to a vending machine or go to a little store in a hotel or motel and grab the junk they have on hand. So if you want to maintain how hard you've been working while you're traveling, it is very doable. Typically when I'm traveling, we're gonna go out to eat for dinner um, and um, I do know how to read a menu well, so I can typically get around it, but that is where you may struggle. So at least if your foundation in your room, if you've got good food to start your day, good food to get you through, um, then if you blow your dinner, it's not really the end of the world. I don't blow my dinner being a diabetic uh, because I don't want the health consequences that come with um, ruining my, throwing my blood sugar off. So I'm very cautious about that. You may be in a different place. You may not have a blood sugar issue. Um, you may go on vacation to splurge. It's something that I've gotten away from. I'm no judgment. Um, but also I notice when I, I travel better, my flights, my drives are better because I feel better. I'm not eating all that food that's just bloating and weighing you down. Um, when I get home, I don't have to recover. And I don't know about you, but at my age, at 56, I don't want to. I don't want recovery days from traveling. I've I I did that a long time ago. I've outgrown it. So uh, again, it depends on where you are. But this is a really simple way to stay eating clean while you travel. And I've done it over a dozen times, so I know it works. And it's really not that inconvenient. 